When the pigskin hits the turf again at Kyle Field this summer, it's the SEC money it brings with it that created a buzz at the Hilton in College Station. I feel like the stays will be longer, at more than two days, possibly three or four. Athletic Director Bill Byrne and University President R. Bowen Lofton spoke at the Economic Outlook Conference. A hot topic, the renovation of the nearly 90-year-old Kyle Field. Just as the moving to the SEC was a 100-year decision, renovating Kyle Field is a 100-year decision. The Athletic Department, 12th Man Foundation, and the University make up the Kyle Field Renovation Committee, which oversees a possible new look. But they haven't even chosen the architect for the redesign. So I think it's going to be probably late this spring before we'll have a uh, study even starting. The Brazos Valley accounted for 26% of A&M's ticket sales this season, up from 7% a few years ago. So what are the chances Aggie home games are somewhere other than College Station in 2014? We'll do all types of analysis to see what we need to do to renovate Kyle, come forward with a plan, we'll share it with the community, and then we'll move forward. But any type of construction won't begin till after the 2013 football season. Obviously our preference is that it be done in stages, that they, they, they take it uh, one step at a time and continue to play games here. But it's this coming season most businesses anticipate. I'm excited about it. I think the people in the area are excited about it and it's going gonna, it's gonna to drive a lot of re tax revenues and revenues for local businesses. Chris Vlahos, KAGS HD News.